this is the buzzer version of a very popular Scottish dry fly, the yellow owl. This particular one is the UV owl. And we'll crack on and get it tied. The hook for this particular one is a B175 size 10. Start off with the body. It's UTC 70 in tan. Put that on, tighten everything up. Trim away on the tag end. Jump straight in for the body. We've got magic quills from Get Slotted. These are a medium. I normally use a large and a 10, but for this particular pattern, I want the colour of the underbody to show through a bit more. So the medium have a bit less defined quill on the actual plastic that you peel off. So I've got one here. The easiest way I found it so the taper and the quill doesn't clog up. Take the length of the hook, snip that away. These have got an adhesive side, so obviously you can stick it to your thumb like that. It helps you hold it onto the side. Catch that in, put it all the way down just above the bob. Come back up, touch and turns all the way up. Take the thread all the way back to behind the eye. Just give yourself a bit of space to work with. Come in with your 70 denier UTC in black. Just catch that on. Take that back. Cut them away. Bring your magic quill over the top. Your push, touch and turns all the way along the body. Just take your time, make sure you get it right. Slightly overlap there. Just bring it up. Right over the top, tighten everything down, trim away that. Now for the cheeks, I've got somewhere medium ice blue tinsel. Doesn't really show it on the spool, but it's got a nice UV blue tinge to it. When it's over black, it gives a great effect on cheeks. So just catch that in on the side. Caught. Take your thread up and down. Just create a loop with the tinsel. And square. Thread over the top and trim away that waste before it gets too complicated. Just build up the profile of your thorax. If you don't want it too long, you don't want it towards over, over a quarter less than a third. I don't even know what that proportion is. But we'll go for that. Bring your tinsel forward. Keep everything tight. Two turns over just to make sure you're happy. Check everything is there. Thread back, tinsel back even. A couple of turns. Pick up your scissors, whip that away. I find if you just give it a little 
Mirk. Try again. No, Nick. Falls away for a clean edge. Clean the whip finish. Put the turns to finish. On the top. Well, well, the body. How is that normally? No, I'm not a fan of resin at all for buzzers. Might get away with it on booby eyes and with a pair of guns, quill patterns, that's about it. What I've done here is vineyards sell you fine. Taking the brush, bottle top of hard as nails, Sally Hansen's as most of us use. That's a bit too much and a drop. Just come in. Start at the back and just brush forward. Paying attention to make sure you cover everything in the first coat. Just use your brush and just chase it round. That's one coat done. You can put five or six of them in a block of foam. You see what varying flies there. Testers, others drying, five or six in the block, nice bit of varnishing, easy to do, especially with a brush. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Thank you to those who have subscribed so far. If you haven't, there's a little subscribe button for those watching on the laptop.